our Honorable First Lady, Mrs. Savita Kovinji, our Honorable Governor of Assam, Sri Jagdish Mukherjee, the Honorable Speaker of the Assam Assembly, Sri Bishwajit Daimariji, my colleague and the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarmaji, Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim, Sri Prem Singh Tamangji, our Honorable Minister of the Cabinet of Assam, our Chief Executive Member of the Boroland Territorial Council, Sri Pramod Boroji, the President of the Boro Sahitya Sabha, Sri Taren Boroji, all the other dignitaries who are present on the dais, all guests and participants who have come here to be part of the 61st Annual Conference of the Bodo Sahitya Sabha here in Tamalpur, Assam. I first of all would like to thank the organizing committee for having invited me to be a part of this very, very important program. Kulumbai. Kulumbai, Mahakobor, Nantang Mana. Muzang, Muzang. Meghalaya, Raizani Fry, Amni Gassa, Garbani Fry. Kulumbai, Kulumbai. Ar Gazani, Ar Gazangnai, Ko Nantang Mani Sin, Jasi Hornai, Jabai. Gazantang. Honorable President, Sir, Jo Mene Abhi, Boro Basha Me Mene Bhi Kaha, Usme Se Kam Se Kam Char Ya Paat Shab, Bilkul Mere Basha Garo Se Milta Junta Hai. Boro language, Garo language, coach, Dhyori language. Ye sabhi ek ka, jo hamare Sino-Tibetan languages hai, usi ke bhaag hai. Aaj mene ek word use kya, Angni. Iska matlab Garo mein hota hai, Mera. To Boro mein bhi ise Angni hi bolte hai. गारो में एक शब्द है ना सोमनी यानी कि आपका बोरो में भी इसे नासुंगनी ही कहते हैं और ये नासुंगनी और नासुंगनी एक बहुत ही इसमें सिमिलरिटी है माइको गारो में होता है क्या व्हाट इसे भी बोरो लैंग्वेज में माको कहते हैं so almost very, very similar in our languages. And uh, at this point in time, I would like to congratulate the Boro Sahitya Sabha Committee, the President, General Secretary, for having initiated and had this very, very large and important conference because language is what identifies us. It is our identity as a tribe, as a community. And therefore, the importance of language cannot be measured, I should say. And therefore, seeing the work of the Boro Sahitya Sabha, we all are inspired to see how they have ensured that their language moves ahead, it is nurtured, it is documented, and ensured that uh, these kind of programs will continue to bring out the importance 
of the Bodo language. I would also at this point in time like to inform you, Honorable President Sir, that uh, the state of Meghalaya also has got multiple languages. We had recently passed a resolution in the assembly to include the Garo and the Khasi language in the eight schedule. And I strongly feel that inclusion of languages of different tribes and different communities will only lead to a stronger integration of this very, very diverse but great nation of ours. Therefore, sir, we look to you also to support us in our endeavor to see that not just Garo and Khasi, but all the different communities and tribes and languages that are there in the Northeast, different tribes, they may be small, but their identity comes from the language and the culture that they have. I urge you, Honorable Sir, that if these languages could be promoted and protected in the long-term interest of the identity of these tribes. My late father, Shri P. A. Sangmaji, was somebody who had a great affinity for the Poro people. Mujhe abhi bhi yaad hai, jab parliament mein wo member of parliament the, to jab Bodo land mein kafi issues chal rahe the, to late P. A. Sangmaji ne us samay Bodo logo ke liye और बोरो लैंड के लिए उन्होंने पार्लियामेंट में और लोकसभा में आवाज उठाई थी वो मुझे अभी भी याद है और जो प्यार और जो एक रिस्पेक्ट जो उन्होंने बोरो पीपल की तरफ दिखाया सिमिलरली बोरो लैंड के लोगों ने पीए सांगमा जी के तरफ भी वही रिस्पेक्ट और प्यार दिखाया कुछ ही दिनों में मैं बोरोलैंड यूनिवर्सिटी में जा रहा हूं वहां पे बोरोलैंड यूनिवर्सिटी के आ, स्टाफ ने और वहां मैनेजमेंट ने पीए सांगमा मेमोरियल लेक्चर एक ऑर्गेनाइज किया इसके लिए मैं बोरोलैंड यूनिवर्सिटी के लोगों को मैं धन्यवाद कहना चाहता हूं सो मिस सो ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट सर आई नो दैट यू हैव अ वेरी टाइट शेड्यूल एंड आई डू नॉट टू टेक मच टाइम वंस अगेन your presence in a program like this is not just an inspiration to the people of Boro areas, but it shows your concern and your respect for all the tribes of the Northeast. This sends a very powerful message to the people of the Northeast that as a government and as the president of this country, Every single community is important. It sends a message that every language that is being spoken throughout the country must be preserved and must be given the due importance. And this message will reach every corner of the Northeast. And once again, on behalf of the people of the Northeast, especially of Boro area, I would like to thank you for coming for a very, very important function like this. Today, the government of India has also shown a lot of interest in ensuring that the local languages are preserved and are taught in school, are documented and are promoted. So therefore, I thank the Honorable Prime Minister also for his initiative to ensure that all these languages different tribal languages and community languages should be preserved and promoted. With these few words, once again, I would like to thank the Boro Sahitya Sabha and all the organizing committee members. I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Bissar Sarmaji. And I would like to thank you, sir, and madam for coming here and gracing this occasion and being uh, somebody who has shown a large amount of interest for the people of the Northeast. With these few words, once again, thank you very much and Jai Hind.